Good evening and welcome to the West Coast of Canada. I'm Cranky Old Dude. I live seven days a week, 10 to 16 hours a day from Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube later and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe even subscribe to the YouTube channel because, you know, hey, unlike other places, this is free to subscribe to. And uh, feel free to put a, a comment in the comment section if you like what you see. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are showing you scum, but we're showing you a special part of scum. We're showing you the start to scum, giving you an idea how to um, get a good start and be prepared for your looting ahead. That means um, getting all your initial survival things that you're going to need at the initial start. I'm going to hit uh, single play here. What you see right here, this, this guy is from my multiplayer uh, subscriber only server that we have for our community. Great. And you're going to change the name. Call it Cranky. So there's a difference between them. Um, okay, now with these attributes, how you adjust these for yourself is up to you. Okay, just as a base default until you get used to the game and get a feel for where you want your skills to be at and what you need point wise. I suggest you leave these at three points straight across the board. Now you can play male, you can play female, whatever you play is your choice. There's lots of different head options you can choose here. Facial choices, skin tones. That's up to you how you want to do it. Um, you can give yourself tattoos. Okay. Now you can go concealed mode or non-concealed mode. That's also up to you. Uh, because we're going to upload this, and for decency's sake, we're not going to put that on there. And yes, you can adjust the size of your anatomy, we'll say. Um, and have it even grow over time, if you wish. That's up to you. We're not going to go there. I, I, I'm not inclined to do that. Alright, so here's what we've got. We've got six points across the board for each of our stats and skills based on those stats. Starting in strength, uh, we have brawling, we have rifles, we have melee weapons, handguns, and archery. Um, okay, so rifles I'm going to take up to basic level. Melee I'm going to take up to basic level. Handgun up to basic. Archery up to... Medium? Uh, no, I'm going to take archery up to basic. I think the melee I'll take up to medium. Because we're more likely to use melee at the start than anything else with our strength one. Now for a constitution, I'm going to take running up to basic. Endurance, I'm going to take all the way up as much as I can. Well, maybe not. But let's take it down just to the start of medium. Put the rest in. There, they're both at medium. Even better. So we can run at a good pace and we have our endurance at a good pace. Um... Dexterity skills. Scroll on down here. Use your mouse wheel and scroll down. You can see there's a lot of skills still that are grayed out that are going to be coming. This is an early access game and there's more things to see. Thievery. Um, this goes with opening locks. Um, I, I would definitely make sure you have it at least at basic. Same uh, with your driving. I'm going to say take it past basic and go to medium. The reason I say that is if you go anything less than medium... You're going to have the potential to stall, grind your gearbox and everything else with your driving while you're driving. And if you're in a critical moment where you've got a puppet or a zombie that has a bunch of C4 strapped to its chest with a proximity detonator, last thing you want to do is stall when it's right beside you. You will blow up, your truck will blow up, and you'll be most upset. Demolition, um, this is more related to PvP side of things, and, and Thievery kind of is as well, but Thievery you're going to use in a PvE version and a single player version because you're going to be opening lockpicks. Demolition, I, I don't see you really needing that much. Same with throwing. Uh, motorcycling, that's up to you if you want to take that and put some skill points into it. I'm going to put some points into Stealth and... Again, aviation, this is up to you with the motorcycling thing. Are you going to fly, fly a plane? That's up to you. Me, myself, I don't see myself doing that. I'm going to increase my stealth a little bit higher than basic. Intelligence skills. Here we go. Awareness. Um, basic awareness is fine for me. And with basic sniping. Camouflage, we'll go basic. 
survival i want basic so i can at least tell where north is um i don't need it that way um okay so let's let's see what we can lower here um <sighs> awareness you're gonna get so it, it's it, all your skills you can level up over time i'm trying to give myself the points to get engineering into advance let's see what i need let's let's lower it all and just raise this straight to advance that leaves me with nothing the reason i want advanced and i'll be very frank about it is it allows you to build what you want to build when you want to build it allows you to build the advanced engineering blueprints and that's kind of important it really is uh, that includes bullet crafting and ever, everything else and prevents you from having to level up to achieve that ability so i'm willing to level up my other skills and intelligence sacrifice those points to put my engineering up to full i'm okay with that doesn't mean you have to but it's what i'm choosing to do and why i'm choosing to do it so uh, we're ready to create. Let's do it. He has a flaw. He's a smoker. Uh-oh. Now, when you first get ejected out, you're going to be in the air parachuting. First thing you want to do is the second you're in the air, hit your M key and find out where the hell you are. Very, very important. Not, we're not parachuting yet. Coming, though. Oh, boy. Not liking this. We are in C2. This is a horrible place to be. I'm pushing my W key forward so I can get out of this area as fast as I can. As you can see, I changed my angle by using my mouse wheel i'm kind of bombing a little bit okay now to pop your parachute hit f whenever you feel ready now you see we're we're gonna we're gonna glide in now we had a good speed we were going at a good click and we're out of the cold that's really important you do not want to start in the cold you really want to start at that kind of level of a deficit I don't think so. But right here is a good start. Okay, now look around you. First thing you do is look around you. Are there any puppets around you? Puppets, zombies, those things? Secure look around. Communication with human asset established. Greetings, human asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. My designation is Dual Energetic Entity Neural Appliance Ardena. I am an artificial intelligence created by the Tech One Corporation tasked with overseeing the Scum Shell protocols including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial please do so on your journal interface. Secure channel closed. Okay, like the lady said there, you can go into the tutorials by hitting your tab key Clicking the journal and start looking at your various tutorials. Simple crafting. Over here, they want you to search the ground, find two stones, begin making a stone knife, uh, and then chopping up a bush to find a long wooden stick. We're going to go through all of these. So we're going to hit... Communication with human asset established. We're going to hit track it. The basic survival simple crafting tutorial. In this tutorial, we will establish the basic skills you will need to survive. To start... Please collect two solid masses of minerals or mineraloid matter, also known as rocks. Okay, now they don't tell you how to actually go about doing that. So we're going to tell you. See, you walk forward, you see that clump of rocks, and now it says F to search for rocks. That's how you do it. you got to look for a clump of rocks. Now hit tab. To your personal go to inventory. Database. You this see there's two in our vicinity. Human asset by the Tech One Corporation. There are five main sections of the interface. Inventory, crafting, metabolism, journal, and events. We will go through them at a later time. For now, open up your crafting interface. On the right you can see all of the items available for crafting provided you have the resources and high enough intelligence. 
For now, we will focus on what on the left side of your interface, you can see the resources required to build your desired item. Below it you can see the items that you currently possess and the items in your vicinity. If you have gathered the resources you can click craft in the bottom right corner of your interface. Please do so now. Okay, so there you go. We're gonna craft that stone knife. Now take into account when you craft things, it's gonna drop it on the ground where you are. If you forget about this important fact, you will leave things behind. Stone knife is 87% adequate. Be careful though. Crafting an item does not automatically place it in your inventory. You need to pick the item up from the vicinity. Please do so now. Like she said. There we go. All right, we're not, we're not done. Okay, and it wants us to put it in our hands. So let's do that. Good work. Did you know that fifty-two percent of human assets forget their crafted tools in the field? This is why we have decided to add this part of the tutorial for new human assets. Now let's use your new knife to craft yourself a weapon. On Skull Island, there are many dangers, and you will need to be able to defend yourself. To begin, cut down a bush. Okay, before we do that. Look in your upper right hand corner. It says fame point. We have one point. That was from probably searching the ground for the rocks or from making the knife. But we have one point. We're going to take that number and have it a lot higher by the time we're done all, all the prep that I want you to be able to do. You approach a bush. You hit F with the stone knife in your hand and you can start cutting it up. Progressing at an adequate level. To craft a spear, utilize the same steps you use to craft a stone knife. Okay, so basically hit tab. Now look at the various weight material, sorry, the various weights of the sticks. One is 0.4 and one's 0.2. The 0.2 is not going to make for a very good spear, is it? It's going to be a small little wooden stick. That's not going to make a good spear. The long one will. And you can craft an improvised wooden spear by right-clicking and selecting that as an option. Now, if you do the same thing to the um, small stick, it doesn't give you that option. It lets you make tinder or a wooden arrow, but that, but no spear. And you're asked to make a spear, so we're going to make it out of the long stick here. Again, we got one extra point for chopping that bush down. Congratulations, human asset. You have completed the basic survival simple crafting tutorial. Your actions have been most admirable. If you want to resume your training, please activate the next tutorial. Secure channel closed. Now, by doing these tutorials through the journal, you're actually getting some extra fame points you wouldn't normally get. So, by all means, do it via the journal, guys. Get, get your fame points. I don't like using a spear. That's just my personal choice. Um, and if you notice, our stone knife got lowered by 10% for chopping up the bush and another 10% for making that spear. All right, so let's see what's the next thing in the journal it wants us to do. Uh, it wants a bag, blueprints, and a storage facility. Okay, we'll get to those in a minute. I'm not ready for those yet. I want to do something else with you. So we're going to search the ground for some more rocks. There's one. That's not enough. We need, we need more. All right, there's the second rock that I needed. It doesn't have to be in our inventory. It just has to be nearby for crafting. Upper right-hand corner. We can make another knife if we want it, but I don't. Or we can make the small stone axe head. That's what we're going to craft right now. Stick that in our, oh, I don't know, our pants. Stick that there. Now, we need to get to um, a bunch of bushes together. Uh, there is a rhyme and a reason to this, and I'm going to tell you right here, there's a couple bushes together. Oh, right here, there's a bunch of them. Okay, we're going to cut all of these bushes down. Because the more bushes we have together means the more sticks, and we need a bunch of sticks for what we're about to do. We are going to make a... An axe, and we're also going to make an improvised 
per your backpack. So let's chop up all these bushes. Because we're going to need all the sticks in the vicinity. We're very lucky that there's four bushes clumped together like this. Otherwise, you might have to end up bundling up your sticks and moving them from bush location to bush location until you get enough for what you want to do. Or craft it piecemeal. Craft one, one section at a time. In this case, we're going to need to make some tree bark rope. That's going to take some of the sticks. So um, maybe one bush will give you enough for that. And you can make the, the rope, pick up the rope, and go to the next bush so that you can do the next part of it. Got to make do with what you got. All right, so we're going to go to crafting. And down here, you can see under items, no skill, there's a tree bark rope. Click that. There is enough of the small little um, wooden sticks nearby for us to craft it right away without breaking up any of the bigger sticks. And we're going to do that. Saves time, makes our life easier. And look at the fame points. They've been steadily going up for us. Okay, now we want to craft, roll to the top, we want to craft a small stone axe. Alright, so now we've got our stone axe right there. Now we're going to start chopping up some of our clothing because we need some rags to do the next part. I'm going to move this down just a little bit to free up some space here. And I mean, as much as you want to keep your willy warm, you're going to need the rags, so you might as well chop up the willy warmer. Okay. Um, I would chop up your your beanie here. Okay, chop up uh, the shirt into rags. Cut the gloves into rags. And cut the hoodie into rags. That leaves us with the t-shirt, the legs, the underwear, the socks, and the shoes. That should hopefully be enough. All right. It's slightly chilly, yes. We will deal with that in a minute. First, we're going to cut the one of the big sticks into small sticks. We need to make another rope. Go to crafting, click the rope, craft it. Roll down. To the right is the improvised courier backpack. See what it needs? It needs three rags, a rope, and some cutting utensil. Now we have a small little improvised backpack. That will help. take that backpack and either double click it or drag it over to this bar here you can drag it here let go and it and it appears above and gives you an open space or you can double click it. it does the same thing and anytime you want to remove something you can just drag it off or drag it back that's up to you all right so the next thing we're going to work on is an improvised quiver let's find out what that takes roll down 
Improvised quiver. We need five sticks, and I think small sticks would be fine. Yep. Three rags and a rope. Okay, three rags. We've got. We just got to break up the sticks. Uh, we might have to go to another place, actually. Because I don't think we're going to have enough to make the rope and, the, and have the sticks for the quiver. So we're going to have to go to another bush. But that's okay. We're okay with that. Go back to our crafting. Make the rope. Oh, we don't have enough yet. Ooh. Two, four. Oh, we're going to break this one up. Sad days. Sad days. All right. Now we're making our rope. rope put in our improvised backpack got a bunch of rags that we want to take with us and then we got these two sticks what are we going to do with these two sticks well we're going to need these later so to make arrows with so what we're going to do is we're going to craft these into a small bundle of sticks and then we're going to carry them over to the next bush And if you notice, our knife is gone. Why? Because we burnt through it. I mean, we can walk around here. You ain't going to see it. it. It's broken. It's gone. All right. So now um, you can see the frost around the screen. That's because we're in the north and it's getting a little bit chilly. All right. Let's, uh, let's cut, this, cut this so we can get going here. We do not want to waste any more time. We've used up a lot of our clothing to make what we had to make because we first spawned in a cold area. You don't always spawn in a cold area. A lot of the times you're going to spawn in better locations than this. We're just making do with what we've got where we are. And we're going to get out of here fast. Remember to not run unless you have to. For us, we're going to have no choice in a minute. But that's okay. We understand that. Craft. We want to make that courier, uh, sorry, that quiver right now. And it's another storage medium. It doesn't have to be used to store arrows. There you go. Now we've got a quiver with more storage room. Um, okay, so this small stick, drag it over here and uncraft it. Right click each of these. Um, wait a second, where's my axe? Axe? I click each of the, oh it doesn't even give us the option what about it going here there we go okay you have to have the axe in your hand but right click the stick and select craft wooden arrow you do it the, the way i just showed you or you can go to crafting roll to the very top go to where the arrow is right here and just hit craft that's another way of doing it okay so double click on each of these Sends it straight to your quiver. Let's move on. We're going to run because I want to stir up some heat in our character. We're going to cut this bush and the other bush. We're going to make a bow next. Do that, we need another rope made. We're breaking up one of the big sticks and crafting it into small sticks to turn into tree bark rope. Click on the rope, craft it. Okay, now scroll to the top, click on the improvised bow, craft it. Okay, cut into small sticks, the remainder big sticks. 
We're going through this as fast as we can because we're cold. We need to get going. We need to get out of the air, get food, get water, all that stuff. Okay, bow's going there. Crafting. Arrows. Start crafting them. Keep doing it until you've got no more to craft or until you've reached the max your quiver can hold. In this case, it can hold 12. Okay, go back to your inventory screen and just click them all into your quiver. There we go, we're at 12, we're maxed. Next, I want to go over to a tree and we're gonna run because this has to be done fast, fast, fast. We're getting cold. Okay, we're gonna chop this tree down. We're gonna make ourselves a club. That's the next mission for Cranky. And for you, because to be honest with you, it's probably your best choice for a self-defense weapon at the early stages of the game. And if you're fortunate enough to find a, one nail in any of the loot that you go searching around for in the first place you hit, you can then turn that club into a spiked club. More damage. Okay, right click one of the logs, cut into wooden planks. Click on one of the planks, the cut, it says craft wooden club. Select that. Okay, we now have a club. So guys, this is the start I was talking about. You're at 49 fame points. This is where you're good to go. Start booking it away from here. Oh, stop. What do we see? We see mushrooms. That's food. Eat that right now. This is a huge source of water as well. How am I going to prove this to you? I'm going to pick it. So I hold F key down and select pick. Now we've got another mushroom here. We're going to do the same thing. And okay, now you see the mushrooms here? If we hit control and hold the mouse over it, it shows you what kind of vitamins, minerals, and everything else you get from the item. Look at how much water you get from that. That's a lot of damn water. Eat it. Go to your metabolism, and you can watch as you're starting to get things metabolized and put into your stomach. It's filling up stomach space. And it tells you, if you hold control over it, what you're getting back from these things. Eat the other part. We're filling up our stomach space, but we're going to get a lot out of this. Especially at the beginning, this is very important. Okay, and eat this mushroom here. Now before you eat anything that you're unsure of, make sure you check the taste of it. Okay, let's go. We're going to run, which you normally I wouldn't recommend you doing, but we're going to do it so we warm up. And so we get the heck out of here. Um, you see we're we're running along the road here, and we need to start heading south. But first, we want to get out of this damn cold. There's a, a building up ahead. See if maybe we'll be lucky and we'll find some clothing there. <gasps> we found something better than clothing. We found cornfields. What are cornfields going to do? Well, they're going to give you corn. Start searching the corn. Later on, when, when you get better backpacks, you can start carrying around a bunch of corn. Heck, if you're lucky and you get yourself a vehicle early on, you can start loading the vehicle up with corn. At some point in the near future, you'll build a storage box. That'll be part of the tutorials that you'll have to do at some point, and that'll allow you to store more stuff. And you can even put those in vehicles.
Now remember, this is a wilderness area, so to speak. Abandoned area. You don't have farmers to scare off the wildlife. The wildlife has probably come in here and eaten a vast majority of this. But that's why you're probably not getting very much when you search these things. At least that's how Cranky thinks of it. Oh, we're having really bad luck here. This is not good. No. If you're watching this later on YouTube and you like what you see, you want to pop over and say hi to our Twitch stream, don't hesitate. Go down to the video descriptions. You'll find a link to our Twitch. You'll also find a link to our Discord. You're welcome to join the community and find out all the wonderful shenanigans that we do on a daily basis. Here's some corn we finally found. Right click it, select eat. Go to metabolism. Now it's getting eaten. We're going to get some calories out of that. Fill up some more of our stomach space. Let's go. We're getting cold. Let's go. We need some clothing. You know what happened? Where's my club? I left my club back there. I did a newbie mistake. Run back. Keep our tab open. And look for where our club is on the ground. It should be somewhere in the starting area where we first found the corn. Actually, it's going to be where I've, I found that one piece of corn and ate it. Because that's where I would have had to do that. Oh, this is going to be rough to find. Might be lucky and just see it on the ground. Or I might have to go off and craft myself another one. Ah, Cranky, what did you do? Your club is gone, Cranky. It, this is why, you know, you got to pay attention to these things. Be aware of them. Um, I really should have. So sometimes watching the streams shows you what not to do as well as what to do. Okay, well, we are not going to waste time looking for it. We're going to go craft another one. We're going to go chop down another tree. It'll give us more fame points. And it'll uh, burn off some more energy for us to be a little bit warmer. Maybe this time Cranky will a little, be a little more cognizant of what he's doing so he doesn't lose his club that he needs to defend himself again. Now, why did I lose it? Well, because you, you, you've only got two hands, and I was three-handing it. Um, in this game, you can have one and two holsters with items in it. In this case, we have a spear and a bow. And then in your hands, we have the, the axe, which is going to be moved over here eventually. So when you put something into your hands, you use your hands for anything else. That thing that was in your hands gets dropped on the ground. So you got to always be cognizant of if you do have something in your hand, that you make sure you pick it up when it does get dropped. Lucky for us, we were still able to craft ourselves another club, and we noticed before it got to the point where we needed to use the item and didn't have it. All right, let's start running. Let's go. Let's go. See if I can see it as I run along. I don't see it. Unfortunate, but oh well. Okay. Now, look look at your energy level. Don't start running too much, because when you're approaching some place that you want to loot, you don't want to be out of energy. If you are, go to actions, select lay down, and you will recoup that energy. When you're back up to 100%, sit up. Go slow or fast, use your mouse wheel to decide which you want to do. I'm searching the garbage first, hoping I find a nail. Now, a good approach to these places is to check them out as best you can first by walking around them to see if there's any puppets or um, 
the equivalent inside the place. I don't see any, but I don't want to use a door to open it because that's going to leave me open to anything from the outside coming in if it spawns into the game. So I'm going to go through a window. Now hit tab to see what's in your vicinity. There's nothing on the ground. Okay. So we're going to go into the kitchen. Is there anything in the kitchen? There is. There's a box of spices. That's actually kind of cool. We want to hold that if we can. But try to take that with us as far as we can. Hopefully we'll find a backpack that's bigger than what we've got and be able to keep that. Spices are useful. They're going to give you, um, I think, iron. Yes, FE, 22%, 16% vitamin K, uh, and 27% magnesium. Or wait, MN. What is MN? Um, MG, I think, is magnesium. MN would be... I can't remember. But it's going to give you that at 27%. <laughs> now, if you right-click, you can actually eat it. Go into your metabolism, and you're now getting whatever it was giving you. So MN is, can tell me what it is? No, but you can hit your control button as you mouse over any of these minerals or vitamins, and it's going to tell you what the best sources of these things are. Magne mag manganese. Oh my God, that's hard for a guy with a lisp. But thank you very much, Scarlet. I appreciate that. No items found there. Cargo drop, landing in sector C3. Now, what that means is if you hit M on your keyboard, look at C3, right close to us is a cargo drop. That sucks. I wish we had the means to deal with it. You could go to where that is. You'll see some green smoke pouring out of it, and you can open it up, and inside you're going to find a number of locked lockers. You go in, you pick the locks, and you get the items out of it. You have 20 minutes from the second it lands, to gather stuff from it and break into it before it blows up. And it will blow up. So yoga pants, as nice as they are, aren't going to be usable by us because they're going to replace what we already have. We want more clothes, not less. Ah, a mask. Well, sure. Mask can be sold for a decent amount of money to the traders. So consider that as an option. But we're just going to wear it. Because maybe it might add a little heat. I don't know if it will, but maybe. Notice how uh, my club is gone again? It's downstairs. I will go up and grab it. I want to finish searching this place before I do. Nothing in the box. Garbage. We have a rag, we have paper, and a metal scrap. I don't need any of those right this second. They're not pertinent to my immediate survival needs. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen where I dropped my club. Oh, you know what? I dropped it when it came through the window. Where is it? Where's my club? What did Cranky do? How did I lose my club so fast? It's been rough when I came through the window. There it is. It's on the floor here. That's weird. Okay, well, we've got it. Try to pay attention to your own lessons here, Cranky. We're done here. We're going to move on. We need to find a place that's got clothing for us. That had nothing. Look at this place. Again, look here in the bedroom first. No puppet. Nothing in here. Let's go in. Still got the club in our hands. That's good. In the vicinity, we have some glue and duct tape. Ah, not useful for our immediate survival. Oh, sounds like there's a puppet nearby. I'm sorry about that. Once in a while, the audio cuts out on scum with my voice meter because it's still in early access. It kills the audio feed sometimes. Not every time, but once in a while it does. Thank you for that notification, Roshmik and Jittery. Um, 
don't mind it. But if it does happen again, let me know so I can reset the, the audio engine. Check the dryer. You usually find clothing in that. Oh, oh, right down, right there on the ground. What's that? Tracksuit top. Put it on. That's extra clothing and storage space. That's going to keep us warmer than we were. Make a huge difference, actually. I hear a zombie, but it's not in this house. Or puppet, as it's called in this game. I will occasionally refer to them as zombies. I know they're not zombies, they're called puppets. But I call them zombies anyway. Check all the places for new clothing. As you never know, you might find something. Check the medicine cabinets. You might find something. Check your vicinity. Nothing here. We're done. We're moving on. Okay, across the road, there's a puppet right there. Let's try to kill him with our bow and arrow. Okay, so we want to hit enter to go into first person view. You can see the little aim there. Hold your right mouse button to zoom in. Dropped him. Just like that. Uh, Scarlet's asking, do you not keep rags for bandages? Yes, I do later on when I have the storage space for that. Um, as it stands early, I want to find a, a backpack that can store it. Right now, I haven't had much for space. I used up the key amount of space for a, a spice mix. Covered two of three arrows there. There's probably another arrow over by the fence here. Let's see if we can recover that. No, it's gone. So these are all the items that dropped out of this guy when we searched him. You can put them on and wear them as long as they're not 0%. But they're... First off, they're grubby as all hell. Second off, they don't have much durability. One hit and they're gone. Now the puppet here, we can chop him up, or her, or it, and take a bone that might come out and turn that into a needle. If you find some thread, you can bind the needle and thread to make a improvised sewing kit. That you can use to repair the clothing like what's on the ground or your own clothing. And that is very vital and important. You're going to need later on. Sounds like we got a friend. There we go. There's a friend. I am not going to use a bone arrow. He's too close. Oh, we got hit. Circle around them. You're better off. But they don't get too many hits on you. Now, we took a hit. So click your metabolism. Click the health. Bleeding injury C1. As long as it's only a C1, it should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab and hold it down. Select actions. Go to lay down. Now we can bandage that if we had the rags, which we don't right now. We can always cut something out to make rags, but we're trying to save our clothing to keep warm. So we're just going to lay down and let that heal up naturally, and it will. It's it's a C1. It's a single C1. Our health is 96%. We're not going to die from that one injury. It's not that bad. Let it heal up. It's going to go from untreated to stabilization. From stabilization, it'll go into recovery, and from recovery, it'll disappear entirely. Now, we can already start to move because we're not bleeding anymore. I suggest you don't overdo it and start running or anything, but it gives us a chance to search the body while we're still healing up. Nothing I want. Okay. Now, here is your first vehicle. 
you need a vehicle repair kit and charge up the battery on this thing before you can use it. And you probably, well, you don't need the vehicle repair kit. I'm going to correct myself on this. It probably is sufficient. Oh, this one actually, well, no, it's, it's sufficient. It's got 49% that it still will drive. All you're going to need for this is gasoline and power to the battery. Now you can discharge power from an existing battery into this battery so that you can get enough battery juice to go or you can have a friend who's with you give you a push start and push the back of the vehicle while you're trying to drive it. What will happen is you'll effectively get a push start and be able to drive it and start accumulating energy back into the battery via the alternator and by driving it around. Now, if you want to ensure that you've got access to this vehicle in the future and it just doesn't disappear on you, because um, if you don't claim the vehicle technically through getting into the vehicle, it can disappear in a short period of time. Now, if you get into it, it sets a timer on it and allows it to stick around a little bit longer. So um, that's what I would suggest is if you're wanting a particular vehicle and you don't have the items ne nearby or on hand to fix it and you want to come back and ensure that it's still here, get into it and then get out of it. Now we're going to hit F. You can see our club is on top. Don't forget your club when you're done. And you can see the health, the fuel, and the battery. The fuel and battery are zeroed out. There's nothing in them. Hit F to get back out. Now it's started a timer, which will last a lot longer than just by itself. And we're off. Okay, so we're at 59 fame points. I think that's good enough of a start for you guys to get a gist of what you do getting in the game, starting off at its current state right now. Um, this is point seven, and I hope you enjoyed this stream. I'm Cranky Old Dude. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, maybe tell a couple friends about it. And if you want to pop in or Twitch sometime, go down to the video details there and get the link and pop on over and say hi. Until next time, I'm Cranky Old Dude, and we'll see you again soon.